everyone. It's Re with Cute Nanny Things. I am here to film a craft room tour. Um, this has been, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Um, but of course, I've been in the middle of projects. This room has been tore up. It's not even, I've hidden a lot of stuff. <laughs> I think most people that do these tours do. Um, but I'm going to kind of go through some of my organization, things that I do, especially when I am doing a project um, like this table, for example. Um, this is just a basic, you know, table you get from Walmart and I just covered it with stickers I bought from Amazon so you could get like a hundred stickers and I thought it'd be cute but I bring this table out when I'm doing big projects um, working on things that way because um, my desk area is quite small um, there's really not much room for work and I use this for crafting and also for work um, as my home office so not very much room to make things so I always bring out this table when I'm doing some projects as you can see I got some stuff laid out that I'm gonna be working on um, and that's why and these are shelves that I purchased from Ikea that I just didn't use in my craft room so I use it as um, just a topping so I can have a smooth surface because these stickers some of them come up some get caught in your project so um, I would definitely if you're looking to do this this on a table make sure you run some clear tape on it um, that usually helps so this is just my work table my workstation I'm gonna end up moving it out of the way when I start going through some of these um, these are IKEA I want to say the Calyx series um, and I just purchased some cabinet doors for some but this is where um, we'll start from down here I keep my paper packs from Michaels and my extra um, vinyl pieces the 12 by 12 um, I got my pig scan mat which I haven't even figured out how to use yet and some calligraphy papers and different papers from Daiso down there here I just got some two bins which hide everything that you don't need to see <laughs> sorry my foot was in there um, and then I have cabinets that just hold some extra notebooks and binders and things like that and this one I have my ribbon box um, this box holds some stamps and this one holds some extra photo paper um, 4x6 photo paper that I use over here this is the hub of everything that I do um, these are my white cardstock papers um, I got all my kind of different kinds of sticker paper um, clear vellum different sticker papers there different color cardstock um, I have lamination paper um, I believe this one is 30 pounds and then the ones at the bottom are 50 so I use those both in my projects over here is my printer paper that I use to print out inserts so they're a lot thicker paper um, I love this paper this one is I want to say it's made by Hummel I'll put the description down below but it's super smooth like butter so this is just another calyx unit that I purchased and I just use drawers instead of doors and I kind of say I really like the drawers better than the cabinet doors because you can put so much in it so on this side I put all my inks I use for stamping and this one is all my stamps so I have um, been kind of bringing up some of my collection I just started stamping all right had to move the table this one I just have some little stuff I got from Daiso kind of hold all those little knickknacks some cut stickers um, tape runners decorative tape runners um, just little stuff that you would use um, I recycle for my printer ink um, those puffy stickers and then this is where I keep all my paper clips um, I organize when you know whatever I'm making I keep them in there bottom drawer is all my punch my punches um, I love this drawer it fits all the punches that I have um, super neat down here I just have my extra um, vinyl that I use and then in these are packs that have all my happy planner um, inserts things like that my extras and then of course a box of ink so that's what's in there 
Um, down here, I forgot to show you, but this is where I keep all my my home stuff. So this organized by, you know, our lease, taxes, everything kind of organized into folders. That's where I keep it, yep, in my craft room. And of course, up here, you got my laminator, my pineapples. You've probably seen this in another video of mine, but this is where I keep all the things that I'm gonna be working on my project so I don't forget so anything I purchase I kind of put in here because I know I'm gonna use it and then my collection of my happy planners then goes into my travelers notebooks that I've made and then my recollections books or my ring bound binders um, for planners that I'm setting up so awesome and these are the newest ones um, that just came out so 2019 be picking up some more up here I just have some decorative stuff um, things to hold my um, confetti stuff and sequins for shaker cards my happy planner discs and little pom-poms and I got these little pineapple buddies from my cousin of course it's pineapple theme my chat books which if you don't know about chat books, check it out. It prints all your pictures from Facebook so you can have it in a little book. And then my sticker binders, which I don't use very much now. Um, I just find it hard to use a binder for stickers, um, having to flip through them. So I just kind of have my sticker in a certain place. Pineapple I found, I think I found this at Ross, um, I believe. Then I got my Cameo and my printer. So I love those to be kind of close to me. Um, and then that's my computer, which, you know, my brother gifted this to me, so he stuck stickers all over it. Um, but this is my hub. This is the desk that I use majority of the time. Of course, got my keyboard and my mouse. Um, these are some of the tools I use majority of the time is um, my little sponges for stamping. I got extra staples, pencil sharpener, and eraser, and then my corner punch. Um, this little unit holds all my little um, paper clip trinkets, things that I've made. Um, I just thought, you know, put it all in one place. So that goes there. Over here, I have my pens, markers for planning, um, all my die cuts that I've cut or I've, I've received are in there because they're they go everywhere and then of course I have my drawer for all my washi tape um, that's pretty much I'm so happy that my husband bought me that for my birthday and all my washi tape fit in there so exciting over here I just have these came from Ikea of course you can find those um, and it just holds paintbrushes tapes um, sharpie markers things like that that I'm I usually use um, ruler I got this at Ikea which holds all my pictures things like that inspiration and then over here of course we have our carts so I'll go through my Michaels cart in just a minute you know best way to start this but as you can see from this hot mess this is what I use the most. This is an organizer I bought from Ikea. It has different levels. Um, in the back, I kind of have it labeled unused stickers, sticker paper, uncut stickers, vinyl, labels, um, planner dates, and then all my scraps that kind of stick right here in the back. Um, those are my marker swatches. Anything like dashboards, things like that kind of stick in here. I have my double-sided tapes ready, um, foam stickers, sequence, and different little scrap paper there here is my most used tools my scissors are in there my hole punch my cameo things a blade um, my um, whatever this is I forgot what they call this but I have all the stuff I use my paper trimmer um, this ruler I don't know where I got this but man I use this thing all the time and then of course I got my metal one sticking out in the back down here is where I carry all my sticker, my Happy Planner sticker books are in there. Um, I think I showed that in a video. Of course, my palm trims. Um, and I have some washi tape samples there. And then, of course, these were my markers. Um, and there at the bottom, I just have, um, it's a container full of trim, um, ribbon, things like that, that I'm using for my traveler's notebooks. 
um, and then of course my big paper trimmer and some doilies definitely have to put some doilies in a container because all that fallout all right on this cart um, I got a picture frame that I'm working on a project on of course my UE boom in here it's pretty much everything you would use for a traveler's notebook I got my elastic bands some stickers um, some um, things I purchased from um, Tuesday morning um, paper clips stickers and these are all my inserts so inserts that I purchased that I want to make traveler's notebooks for some binders that are traveler's notebooks that I've made already um, or they're kind of like messes or <laughs> stuff that I made mistakes on um, I always carry the pens that I put in my traveler's notebook here so this is more of the stuff that I use to make things or stick in things. I got my adhesive pockets, some little papers, um, of course, area for my glue stick, um, soldering tool, or I don't know what they call that thing. I keep saying that every time I want to look it up. Fuse tool, that's what it's called. It's called a fuse tool. Things to make paper clips. So pretty much I pre-make them so I don't have to keep making them. So this is some of the ones I've made with bows and then some pen holders. And then of course my cameo markers. And down there is um, anytime you purchase something, the clear wrapping that comes on the outside, I keep all of that. I don't know why. I think I'm going to use it for something, but I do find it when I gift a lot of different things like paper clips, um, it's nice to put it in a plastic sleeve. Then, of course, I got my, um, what are these things? Um, memory keeping um, little pockets, photo pockets, and then my watercolors. So this cart is from Ikea. I actually purchased the wrong color. It was supposed to be black because my craft room is black and pink. But I ended up picking up the wrong color. So I actually like the Michaels cart much better. I don't know I think it's just easier to adjust so I'm gonna plan on picking another one up from Michaels and gifting this to a friend um, so she can organize her stuff um, another thing um, so this is my little corner that's where I keep my book bag for work my purses and it's just a little corner that you, other people that come in my craft room can sit um, colors were from my old living room that's my old ottoman so really not much, not really matching the room, uh, but yeah, I'll get to that. So this room used to be my husband's game room slash my office, and I kind of took it over, and I've been slowly taking some of his stuff out. So um, we got some random, like from everything on the bottom, the floor up is mine. Um, he made these, he um, drew and painted these. This is my cherry blossom tree. And this, you can't really tell, but it's an angel, anime angel, and she's looking over her shoulder. Super cute. And then over here, um, this one's Cherry Blossom Princess. Super nice. And um, he used, I'm going to say, color pencil, chalk, all kinds of different media on this. Um, and unfortunately, this glass broke, so there's no glass on there when we moved. But I'm definitely going to get some glass cut for that frame. And then up here, I made some wallflowers. And those are my little Daiso Caputo boxes and a random shelf. Um, but yeah, I was planning on making this little corner something. I just haven't thought of what to make. So that pretty much is my craft room tour. Um, as you can see, I moved the table so we can kind of see it, but that is it. Finally get to do this. Thank you so much for watching. Um, give this video a like, comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.